episode 79 of Pew Squalor, and let's look at some of these stories on the side. Uh, looks like they're gonna they're gonna cycle through first, and then we'll look at them. Okay, here's here's the stories. You have to look at it. Green Bay can now celebrate the 48 to 23 Super Bowl victory win. Well, that's not how a Super Bowl goes. Go blowout, routed Packers. I wish the game would have been closer though. Skip Bayless. And the Cowboys weren't in it. Uh, what a performance for Amari Cooper. Two touchdowns. But, uh, yeah. Matt Jones, I think he did okay at playoffs. Amari Cooper is a Super Bowl hero. Matt Jones found the end zone two times, but he also had 228 yards. So that was pretty sweet. Yep, there you go. That's our that's our Super Bowl victory. This is our Super Bowl team with their 99 confident confidence. Like everybody's got oops. Everybody's confident. He's got 69 confidence. <laughs> this guy's got 99 confidence. Aaron Rodgers has got 81 confidence. The defense they didn't play so good. They don't have as many confident players, but uh JT Fender had to play. Oh, that's why Merle must have got in a bunch of times too. So that was that was uh that was pretty sweet, pretty sweet to win two Super Bowls in a row, but you know what happens with all Super Bowl wins? The next season starts and you gotta do it all over again. So I've saved it. And I gotta mark down my place players that I've signed and re-sign my staff. Do I have to re-sign any staff? Nope, they're all they're all good. Everybody's good. So current contract three years, five million, expires in twenty-four, tired three and twenty-two. So we're good there. And we need to just do that before I move on. That was amazing. That was amazing. Final look at the season stats. Don't include the playoffs. I have a lot to do, actually, before I get to go to the next one. But uh, rushing. Sankey actually had more rushing yards. Matt Jones and 14 touchdowns. So Sankey, Sankey played really well. Matt Jones was the hero in the Super Bowl, though. That's kind of interesting. Ari Cooper missed a lot of the season again. Ended with only 30, 30 catches. We run the ball a lot. Defensively, Neil Stallings. Daniel Hunter was our sack master. No Spence did okay. Juan Mixon, Kenny Clark, not so much, but interceptions. Neil Stallings and Haha Clint Dix. I mean, it's just it's a great team. All right, guys, I'm gonna just do some stuff off camera, and then we will uh, see you soon. A couple of days, I've just enjoyed the the Super Bowl win, and you know, in real life, you get to enjoy that sucker for a whole off season and. Madden, it's like, oh, that was it. Let's do it again. You know, more of a chore than a whatever. So you're trying to enjoy it. But I got some, I got some 29 year olds that, you know, in Madden 19 would not be just getting crushed by the speed thing, but they would fall off quicker after that point. So really, when you think about it, they're pretty close in, in their regression in 20. Um, was worse 21 I don't know about but the gameplay is worse but apparently they have slower animations which is good but anyways back to this we got haha -ha and Devonte Adams now I've decided again we will change that I'm going to be able to adjust one players or group positions the slowest persons thing by four points so I could pick wide receivers and then the lowest of the speed of the wide receivers would get 
a uh, four point boost if and then for the second one because I want to do two but I don't want to make it where I get to choose them all the second one's going to be a random roll and it'll be four for any of the um, agility speed strength the other one um, can I just upgrade him now? Yeah, yeah, so I just want to show you right here. So, speed, strength, agility. These will be worth four each. Or maybe... Maybe just speed and strength are worth four. Everything else will be worth eight. So, and you can't do toughness, stamina, or injury. So, when I do that, I'll do a random roll. And that will apply to the lowest person's on each team that way it's a fair deal but I want to do wide receivers and the reason I want to do wide receivers is because I want to sign Devontae Adams and four points will make him have 87 speed which is still not great but it will allow us to have him continue to be useful now I like it one shot at it now and since I can't control the next one I'm I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna resign haha -ha Clinton Dix but I would like to. So, first of all, we need to grab our calculators because we only get one shot at this. And he went down because he regressed. And I'll get over, I'll do regression in a little bit of the Packers, the Vikings, the Lions, the Bears, and then anyone that kind of jumps out at me. But we won't go look into the list because it takes too long. Oops. 4.89 divided by 3. So he wants like. 4.8 million a year and uh, I know what I'm getting into with this one but this is what I can offer him and uh, that'll leave 18.2 million in salary cap will you take this to be on the team for three more years nope nope the answer is nope and the franchise tag is 16 million for one year. Nope. So, Devontae Adams has decided not to play around. Okay, I guess I didn't give him. I did jack up to one, one point, didn't I not? Huh. Oops, a cat. This one, let's see what, obviously I don't want to make this offer. But, uh, We'll just do a $10 million. He'll say, no, I want to test free agency. And the franchise is $10 million. So if we do that, we'll have $12 million left. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're, we're going to let them we're gonna let him test the market and we're gonna go just pick up some free agents and I hope I don't regret that but I think he's probably gonna be really high on the uh, free agent market 10 million for a safety free safety yep okay so uh, unfortunately Devontae has kind of thrown a hampering my plans to, to do that and now that I don't have Devontae Adams or I mean haha -ha, Clinton Dix I might still do the wide receiver four speed thing if uh, if it's Amari Cooper if it's not Amari Cooper then I won't but no, it's Barnes. Tyler Barnes would be the benefit or beneficiary there. And the other one would be throw power, but Aaron Rodgers does not have the lowest throw power. Because John Schmidt does, he has 86. So it's not throw power. Uh, wouldn't linebacker speed wouldn't work? 
Oh, this is getting ugly. Tight end, speed. Tomlinson, nope, nope, not, not gonna go good there. And your strength for Kirkland Watt or just make Josiah Stubblefield obnoxiously strong. What about cornerbacks? Maybe Kendall Fuller. Go up to 94 speed. Yeah, I think I'm going to do cornerbacks. I might use this as after free agency, so it might change, but cornerbacks for speed is going to probably be what I'm going to do. So now that means that I need to. Um, oh, and also um, TJ Lane retired. I need to go through this. Oh, we are going to sign some other players, though. I'm not, I'm not quite done. So, kicker, kicker. He wants uh, three years. So we'll try to get this kicker done. Three point eight one divided by three. One point two nine divided by three. One point five million a year. That's a little bit more. That should be more than enough to allow him to stay. So Madison Sitton will be our kicker. And I'll mark that down. I'm going to sign this fast corner that needs some work, but um, he just uh, he was a draft pick and for some reason I'd like to uh, see if I can do anything with him. He just needs a little, little work on his zone and man, and got good speed. So he just wants a two-year deal. So we'll do that. We'll try at least. So let's uh, negotiate this guy out here. Two point five million a year. Okay. So got that going on too. And that's going to be it. That's going to be our last resigning. So, I'm disappointed that Devontae kind of ruined my day with that uh, disappointing. We just had two Super Bowls in a row, but I think I want to try free agency. All right, I got some grades to give out first before we can move on. So let me do that. Okay, after some consideration, and uh, he's the sixth rated safety in the league after regression. It's the franchise tag is the mix between the first and the fifth, so he's going to be slightly overpaid, but he's going to be. I'm not going to find anyone like that, and I think. I think we do this. I think I think we franchise him so we are going to do that we're going to franchise him and then I'm going to oops sorry I'm going to do one more thing after I franchise him so let me hit him with the franchise so he's done and then we're also going to edit David Bakhtiari to be a left tackle I'm not resigning him, I'm just going to edit him back to his original position of left tackle. There. I don't know if he went up, I don't think he did by switching the left tackle, but now we got some more to, to do before we can move on. Alright, it's retirement time and uh, TJ Lane retired so that opens up our left guard right guard position 
right card, yep. And uh, we're going to put our good friend. Excuse me. Um, Josiah Stillerfield there. Ben Roethlisberger calls it quick. Antonio Brown, Michael Bennett. Mike Glennon, the neck. Jimmy Graham retires in 21. Uh, Rodney Hudson, Devin McCourty, Snacks Harrison, the Seahawk, Monte Davis, Demarcus Thomas, Philip Rivers, Carlos Dunlap, Seahawk, Shays Water. Uh, that's funny. Shawai's Watchers. Tomlin, Marvin Lewis, and Bruce Arians retire. So that's our retirement list. Uh, I'm going to go quickly over the negotiations. So here's what I gave them. And I got it, got it lots to go over. So we're going to go over it when the free agency starts. Uh, the other players and stuff. The re-signed players and the um, draft picks. But Devontae Adams, his he went uh, 47 catches for 757 yards and 6 touchdowns on 853 snaps. I wanted to resign him, but he said no. He was second in yards, second in TDs. That sucked. I was counting on him. We're going to have all four of them come back. And... I just didn't want to sign him to a short-term deal because I wanted to put the four speed into him. But since I couldn't do that, I was going to franchise him. Bummer. Jatavius Brown. So Jatavius Brown was benched. Let me edit my comment here and make it a little bigger so I can see. Was benched. Was the starter originally when I originally caught him like three years ago. And... Uh, he was a starter, but then he got passed by Ray Fennell, and then he got to play because of snaps. But he had 32 tackles, two, ta two tackles for a loss, two sacks, three pass defenses, two forced fumbles, and five and one snaps. He did great. I gave him a B um, when he played. He's always been great. He just got outshadowed and played great, so it was good. Jason Urbach, Herbrich, he's the quarterback I traded for accidentally, and... That was a mistake because I shouldn't have been able to, but it cost me two five fives and a player. I don't remember. I have to look. Um, but yeah, he's 84.3 quarterback rating on the snaps he played. And I just needed a backup just in case Aaron Rodgers got hurt and got to play. And uh, I'm pretty sure he started game 17. And uh, yeah, David Bakhtiari. Uh, he's got 80 strength. I really want to test free agency or check out free agency, but it drives me nuts because David Bakhtiari played really good. I gave him an A+. Plus. Uh, he had zero sacks given up on 1,221 snaps. And that was amazing. Played guard. He did great. He did great. They were great running team. He did great. A-plus player. But I hope I don't regret that. Kareem Hickman. Um... Zero snaps, zero stats on one snap, and I think he was a draft pick. Maybe we'll get into that later, but he, uh, he just incomplete, never really got a chance to play. Glenn Lott was our starting right tackle. He gave up five snaps, five sacks on 111, 78, and he played great too. It's great. He wants three years. I'm going to just not go there. I'm going to walk away. I gave him a B. He's, he just played good. I, I, both of those players could definitely stay on the team, but I just think it's time to move on to a younger offensive line. Not that 26 is old. It just... Maybe I'm making a mistake. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, $3 million a year. I have, like, no salary cap left now. Look at that. Maybe I... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, boy. I'm going to think about it just for a little bit longer. I'll have to draft a free safety. Okay, moving on. BJ Riley. Zero snaps. 
He played one snap the entire time. Got no no stats. Uh, just moving on from him. So incomplete. This was uh, the punter. Signed the punter for the playoffs. Since our main punter got hurt, he did fine. I didn't even check his stuff. It wasn't as good, but I don't need it. I don't need to sign him. Uh, incomplete for Dernard. He just signed for week eight. He had uh, one catch for 16 yards and uh, week eight. So he made a couple, little, couple hundred thousand for some, some light work. KJ Dillon was brought in to make sure that we had enough depth at safety for the playoffs because our starting safety got hurt and the other safeties were kind of slower but he went through regression as you can see so not signing him and not saying trade Trayon. let's do regression next and uh, Kirkland Lock is gonna walk. We're gonna have Bigham. Is he even a left guard? No, he's a center. I got Vincent. Seventy eight eighty, seventy eight, seventy six, seventy seven. 75, so obviously Anton Vincent is not as good, even though the ratings, or is this modified? Oh, it's modified. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We just need a left guard. Okay, we're not going to sign them. My team regression. Player regression. Always fun. Okay, Devontae Adams. Even seeing that, I still wanted to sign him. KJ Dillon's not coming back. Haha. Ha. Signed a one year deal. He's one of the highest ranked players on my team, so I had to. And his speed is acceptable. Aaron Rodgers went down 24 points. Um, Dave Bakhtiari's not coming back. Matt Jones uh, got a little slower, so that might affect him a little bit, but uh, 12 points wasn't too bad. Trucking is still 87. Corey Lindsley went down a little bit. He's still very strong. Um, but he is losing strength every time. Every two two points. So he's not as strong. I think he was a 95 strength when he started. Anton Flynn, who we re-signed. Speed went down to 94. So um, that's kind of a bummer. But he's going to stay for four years. And... Uh, We'll see how that goes. Amari Cooper, he, uh, he went down two speed, but he's going to stick around for a while too. So we're going to have some aging wide receivers in two years from now. Probably right when Aaron Rodgers retires, it's just going to be like a whole new reboot. A reboot, a reboot, jumping, man coverage. So uh, it's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So, so yeah, so as you can see, the the big one was Devontae. He's not keeping The biggest two on our team we're not keeping. Haha, <laughs> Aaron Jones. Not keeping Matt Jones. So uh, we should just do the Lions next. Lions, Golden Tate. Don't know if they're staying or not. Eric Ebron, Tashir Whitehead, Matt Stafford, Kenny Stills, Darius Slay, Amir Abdul, and other ones, the Bears. Now Sean Jeffrey. It sucks that you can't pick their, their card from here because it'd be cool to see him. Now that's amazing. Now with Phoenix, see there's they keep some multiplayers, man, man. I don't even know how long this video is, but that's the Bears and then the Vikings. Be the last one we'll just check on Kyle Rudolph, Harrison Smith, Eric Kendricks, Robertson Griffin. Over to the Teddy Bridgewater, you know, the usual fare. Episode here, we know that we lost a lot of depth players. Haha, uh, -ha, still on the team. So this is 
This is how it is going to be. He's still hurt. He's out four more weeks. So I mean, we'll have an 83 and 91 and 79 with Ellis and Blake backing him up. I could use a, a decent middle linebacker. Haha, uh, -ha, Copeland, JT Fender. See, we're good here. Jones. And Kenny Clark mixing this defense. And this is the same defense that we saw last year with Haha -ha being the only one that really got affected. And Jones, Darby did, but it wasn't, I mean, it was nothing. So his 93 speed is fine. Offensively, it did take a little bit of a beating now that we lost. Uh, got the speedsters on here now, even though Anton Flynn is a little slower. Offensive line is, needs a guard. Need a guard, for sure. And our tight end is not the greatest. Not the greatest. And the specialists are where he's back. It's going to be one of the best punchers of all time. So, 8.7 million for somebody. Richard Sherman is the number one. So, we don't, uh, quarterback. Octavius Bryant. Linville Joseph. Come on, short. Look at that cheap deal. Holy boy. Tino Atkins. Wide receiver. Left guard. 82 left guard. The Lions want him. Yeah, I just. I don't know. I did Orowitz. Austin Severian Jenkins. Man, 111 point deal. No one has made an offer on Devontae. <laughs> We could still get him back. And our wide receiver. Yeah, we want to do this. But look at this. Kyle Juszczyk is available. Life is good when you have Kyle Juszczyk on your team. Is this the route? This is the way to go? Go get a quick development blocking fullback. I like Kyle Use Check, but I don't like him that much. Wide receivers. Devontae is third on the list. Could come back. Tackles. I mean, left tackles. No, oh, left guard. Landon Collins. Ah. Oh, 28 year old superstar. I mean, he's. He's gonna go down. Kind of funny. A run blocking guard. Alright, alright, alright. Anyways, we're gonna end this episode. Thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.